The incessant pace of gravel tech waits for no rider, and three and a half years after the launch of Shimano GRX, it's time to compile our wish list for its next generation. When are we going to see a new GRX family? Well, Shimano updates its road group sets roughly every three to five years, so we could see a new GRX update in 2023. Sadly though, the industry, and in particular Shimano, is still feeling the effect of widespread component shortages, which could delay a launch. Either way, regular bike radar viewers will know we love nothing more than dusting off the old crystal ball. So here's what we want to see from a next generation GRX lineup. Before I get into our wishes, why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you never miss a video from us. Okay, we'll start with an easy one. With Jura Ace, Ultegra and 105 all gaining an additional sprocket to become 12 speed, we want, no, demand, GRX follow suit, at least for its nominal Ultegra and 105 levels. This is a logical progression given the development of Shimano's road group sets, but given the popularity of one by dry chains among gravel riders, and we'll come onto that later, an extra sprocket can make a significant difference if you ditch the front derailleur. Remember, SRAM has long offered 12 speeds for its gravel components, while Campagnolo jumped straight to the 13 speed with Ekar. That said, GRX is currently available in both 11 speed and 10 speed. So if Shimano's update covers the same three tiers as the original launch, we'd expect the Tiagra level RX400 components to follow the expected evolution of the road group set and move to 11 speed. The arrival of Shimano 105 Di2 was one of the year's biggest and most hotly anticipated launches. But what does that mean for GRX? First of all, any new GRX Di2 components will surely follow the lead of Jura Ace, Ultegra and now 105 in ditching a fully wired setup in favour of a semi-wireless arrangement. That means the shifters communicate wirelessly with the front and rear derailleurs, which in turn are wired to a central battery. On the roadside, Shimano has seemingly abandoned high-end mechanical group sets in favour of the semi-wireless setup. Will Shimano also ditch mechanical shifting for a new high-end GRX group set? Let us know what you think in the comments. Now that SRAM offers its third-tier rival group set in a gravel-friendly Explore format, we also expect Shimano will bring DI2 electronic shifting to its 105 level components. Could we even see Jura Ace components for GRX? Wait until the end to hear our take on that. GRX led the way by introducing servo wave to drop bar levers, albeit borrowed from Shimano's mountain bike brakes. And that technology has now found its way onto the brand's latest road groups. Servo wave makes the relationship between lever and brake pad movement non-linear, improving modulation and control. And it's one of the reasons why Shimano's GRX braking is just so damn good. The GRX Di2 hood shape is also a work of art and very different to that of the mechanical shape. Short and compact, the GRX hoods are a comfortable place to spend a lot of time and, crucially, also allow for the confident braking from the hoods. As far as braking is concerned, we'd expect Shimano to update the GRX brake calipers and rotors to mirror recent improvements to the new road group sets. That means more pad clearance, which is critical for grimy gravel riding, easier bleed port access and rotors to match the new RT CL900 and RT CL800 designs. In testing, we found these offer improved warp resistance for quieter performance on brake heavy descents. We'd also like Shimano to introduce reach and bite point adjustment to its brake levers, as seen on Campagnolo's Eka gravel group set. But leave the DI2 hood shape alone. As I teased earlier, we want to see more one by gearing options for GRX. Shimano, in its conservatism, has consistently backed two by drive chains for both road and gravel riding. While the current GRX family offers one by components, which is a first for Shimano on drop bar bikes, the arch rival, SRAM, is the preferred one by provider for most riders. How can Shimano level up against their American counterparts? How about giving us more one by gearing options? Officially, Shimano's current GRX RX812 rear derailleur offers capacity for a 42-tooth sprocket. But a SRAM's 12-speed Axis Explore sets this up to 4040, with a wider range of one by cranksets too. We are also seeing an increasing number of SRAM's riders opt for a mullet gearing setup, pairing gravel or road components at the front of the dry chain with a huge 10-52-tooth Eagle cassette at the rear. 
2x still has its place on gravel bikes. Some riders prefer the ability to fine-tune gearing and cadence, particularly if you're riding a less technical terrain. But it's time for Shimano to refine its one by gearing options. We'll need a full update to the XTR DI2 for that, but any change to Shimano's premier mountain bike group set could give an indication of what to expect from a new GRX lineup. Shimano entered the power meter game in 2017, but the brand's debut offering failed to set the world alight. Ultimately, Shimano seemed content to limit its in-house crankset-based power meter to top-tier Dura-Ace components, especially with third-party suppliers providing a wide range of options in an increasingly crowded market. That changed with the introduction of the power meter to Ultegra R8100, offering dual-sided measurements to a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 2%. Staring at your stem to crunch the numbers may not be in the spirit of gravel, but given the rise of gravel races and the number of pros now dipping a toe into the dirt, a GRX power meter crank set would scratch that itch for power hungry gravelisters. This leads us on to our final point. We want Dura Ace. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> gravel racing has become big business since 2019. Just look at this year's inaugural UCI Gravel World Championships. And on that note, check out our video on the best bikes from the race. The link is in the card above or in the description. Back to DRX and currently it tops up with its Ultegra level RX800 components. But with some of the world's best riders now turning their attention to gravel, is it time to reward them with the best Shimano can offer? And while we're at it, how about wider availability of the beautiful silver polished GRX Limited components from Unbound 2022? The market may be small, but hey, why shouldn't we ask for nice things? So those are the things we want to see, but what do you want to see? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Who knows, maybe we will feature them in a future video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're looking for even more on gravel, then why not watch this video here?